So today we continue with our quest to relax excessively contracted tight hamstring muscles and we are going to use the technique that I introduced yesterday with another variation. So this is really, I'm searching for the name of this technique, but I think the best is the integrative neuromuscular relaxation. Integrative because it integrates with it several neurological responses. First is something called post-isometric relaxation. When the muscle is in isometric contraction and immediately after that muscle is more pliable, more relaxed. Then on the same pathway is something called autogenic inhibition. It could be either through isometric contraction that I mentioned a, a moment ago or through stretching of the tendon with its Golgi tendon organs, GTOs. So this is second feedback loop that we're using in this technique. The third is a reciprocal inhibition, meaning when your quadricep contracts, hamstring relaxes. So when we are pulling the leg up to the sky, we're using our quadricep. If we keep that quadricep in isometric contraction, at the same time, your hamstring muscle is relaxing. Fourth, the fourth feedback loop is the spindle stretch reflex inhibition, meaning we are shortening the spindles while we're trying to elongate uh, tendons of the hamstring muscles. Manually, we are shortening spindles. We are not, we're putting them a little bit on slack. And finally, the fifth one of this technique is use of breath. In particular, the type of breathing called cyclic double inhale breath. This breath has been documented and researched that it has several positive health responses, including lowering anxiety, lowering tension, and this <sighs> type of out-breath I've used for three decades now working with patients, starting from Dr. Hans Kraus exercise program that emphasizes relaxation and use of breath to let go. So for today's session, you will need a stool or a coffee table or something that you could prop your leg in order to use the isometric uh, inhibition. I'll demonstrate, don't worry. Let's do the original test first, the toe touch test, so we can feel if we get better after the short exercise session. Let's do it. So you're standing, feet are together, you're standing tall, you're standing upright, and whatever you can do in the relaxed way, without any ambition to touch your toes, but whatever is easy. Take a breath in, exhale, and let your fingers approach the floor. And feel what is it on the first go without any preparation, without stretching, maybe do it one more time. and then come back. Perfect. Please lie on your back and make sure that you have somewhere near a chair or a stool or some kind of coffee bench or whatever you can place the foot, the leg for the isometric contraction prior to the relaxation and lengthening. Place the chair so it's somewhere near your legs Lie on your back, place your left heel on that stool, on the chair. This will also be our first exercise where we use isometric contraction, meaning we're starting to build some strength in addition to eccentric strength that I hope you've been practicing with washing fingers every day. So let's begin. Very gently apply pressure with your heel into the surface of the chair 
you will feel the seat bone wanting to lift but that doesn't mean you need to bridge the pelvis it's a little bit of the response and maintain that pressure for a couple of seconds 10 seconds will be enough we're actually going to use our breath for that now release it lift your knee toward your chest put your hands in the same place where you can picture the tendon and muscle belly joining together and begin to straighten your leg at the same time with your fingers pull the muscle belly downward toward your seat bone take a breath in stop breath in again and long exhale bend your knee and return the foot to the surface of the chair we'll repeat the process again we're using push of the heel into the chair hold it take a breath in stop on the top of inhale inhale more long exhale let go bring your knee a little closer again both of your hands are pulling the belly of the muscle to hold it close or on slack while the tendons of the muscle stretch quadricep muscle is working the antagonist is working and do the double inhale exercise breath in stop breath in more long exhale bring your leg back to the surface of the stool perhaps even straighten the leg a little bit so it's completely relaxing giving to the surface of the chair you're relaxing the double inhale is also called cyclic sighing like ah, long long exhalation and releasing muscle tension but not only tension in the body but tension in your mind let's do it one more time bend the knee press with your heel into the surface of the chair feel your hamstring muscle contracting in the back of the thigh you could even touch it and feel how these muscles are isometrically tight contracted hold take a breath in stop your inhale inhale more exhale bring your knee toward your chest hands on behind the knee straighten the leg while you are with your hands pulling the belly of the muscles toward your seat bone stay feel contraction of the quadricep take a double cyclic inhale one more inhale long exhale and lower your leg now please bring your foot down to the ground straighten both of your legs and pay attention to the difference in the sensation of the left leg how the back of your thigh is touching the floor how open the left hip joint is the position of your foot can you sense that something changed
and then bend both of your knees. You will bring the chair underneath your right heel now. If you have large enough chair, then you can have both feet on it or the left foot standing, whichever way is comfortable for you. And we start with isometric contraction, pulling with the heel into the surface of the chair. Don't work hard, but sustain that pressure. Touch your hamstring muscles, feel how they're working. Maintain that contraction. Take a breath in toward the top, like 80% of maximum inhale. Stop, inhale more. Long exhale. Stop, pressure, put your hands to where tendons begin and straighten your right knee. With your fingers, gather the tissues and pull them downward so the tendon is being stretched. This is inhibiting contraction of your hamstrings, in other words, relaxing. Also, quadricep is working which is relaxing hamstring. Take a breath in, breath in again, long exhale. And bring your foot back to the surface of the chair, coffee table, stool, lower the leg, give it a moment to relax. And make sure that you are relaxed also during the exercise, even though it requires work, that none of these techniques, movements give you pain. All of them are comfortable. You're just feeling a little bit of lengthening of those tissues. Let's do it the second time. Bring your heel into contact with the chair. Pull with the heel. Feel your right seat bone wanting to lift. Maintain that, keep the pressure into heel into the chair, take a breath in. Stop, inhale more, long exhale. Stop pressing the heel, bring your hands underneath your knee inside and outside hamstring and the tendons straighten your knee while you pulling with your fingers soft tissues downward toward your seat bone and maintain this take a breath in stop inhale more exhale Bend the knee, relax your leg, straighten it a little bit to give weight of the leg to the surface of the chair. Let's do the third time. Bring your heel to the surface of the chair, push with the heel or pull to be exact, feel muscles contracting hamstrings holding, inhale, inhale more, exhale, let go, put your hands underneath, your behind the back of the hamstring, feel how softer it got, and now straighten the knee, hold the tissues down, soft tissues being pulled down, tendons being stretched behind your knee. Stay there, take a breath in. More. Exhale. Exhale. 
and lower your leg down slowly remove the chair put it aside and lie quietly with legs long observing how your body responded to this technique your right leg And let's see if our original test toe touch is any better. Please roll to your side. Come up to sitting. Come to standing. And let's see what our original test feels like and looks like. So again, leave ambition. Whatever is simple, feet together. Take a breath in, and as you exhale, let go, and go down toward the floor. Come back. Perhaps you will notice a, some increase in range and flexibility. If not, it means that you might need another couple of sessions. Take a breath in one more time. Exhale. Come back. Very good. I'll see you tomorrow for the last session of this week.